So a while ago, I got this 120mm AIO from the Newegg Shuffle. Yeah, everyone remember the days when to get a GPU, you had to resort to all kinds of crazy things? I won the Newegg Shuffle and earned the right to buy an RTX 3060 Ti, but it had to be bundled with this AIO. So, I bit the bullet and bought it anyways. I sold the RTX 2060 Super I had in my system for over $400 on eBay to help fund this endeavor. My current system has an Intel i9-11900K with no overclock. It's cooled by a 240mm Corsair AIO, but I'm curious. Can a 120mm AIO work to tame this CPU as well? That's what we're here to find out. Before we do, I want to run some benchmarks. Three runs in Cinebench to see what my temps and score looks like. Let's watch the first run, but we'll speed up all of the runs. The first run gives a score of 14,115 and a max temp of 62 degrees Celsius, but it mostly hovers around 60 to 61. Alright, let's see what the second run does. Run number two goes similarly and gives a score of 14,161 and the same temps. But I'm going to show no mercy and we're going immediately into run number three. Run 3 gives a score of 14,131 and the same temps again. Overall the average score for these runs is 14,135.67 with a max average temperature of 62C. Okay, it's time to swap in the 120mm AIO. Most of the work will be done off screen and it's going to look janky at first. Okay, now I will admit this is sketchy as hell. I left the 120 millimeter AIO in because if this fails I don't want to have to go through the work of putting it back in all the way. Uh, so the 120 millimeter AIO is just currently hanging out there. I'll power the computer on, get into BIOS, but I'll also make sure that I lift the AIO up a little bit so the pump is not the highest point in the loop. 
Dear God, wish me luck. Here goes. I think I hooked this fan up to the CPU chassis fan. So far, so good. Come on. BIOS, 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 BIOS. Thank God. Okay. Okay, well, so far, so good. We have successfully booted into Windows. I have things ready to go. We're idling at 30C. Not bad, but then again, the side panel is open. So I'm about to hit start on the test, and then we'll get it going and see what happens. Oh, 32C. And away we go. I'm just going to do one test because this is horrible to hold. Okay, time for three more tests. I never thought I'd feel like this. The first test gives a score of 14,198 and has a maximum temperature of 68C. Honestly, I expected worse. Well, that was certainly fun to cable manage back together. So, we'll put the side panel back on because I think we're good to go. Of course, I can't see from behind the camera. Side panel back on. So, what I decided to do was go ahead and put the 120 millimeter mounted in the back. I have an extra fan on the rear so that way I'm double stacking them. I'm having the fan that came with the AIO right there and a Corsair Maglev in the rear that I have plugged into the CPU optional header. Oh, so satisfying. So let's boot her up and see what happens. Oh yeah, I finally remembered to plug in the header for the RGB. How many people are going to hate me because it's a Republic of Gamers logo with an Asus Prime motherboard? I'd be interested to see that. Okay, now the second and third runs are with the AIO properly mounted. The second is a score of 14,243 and a max temperature of 68C. Just like last time, I'm showing no mercy and I'm going straight into the third run. The third run has a random temperature spike to 73 degrees Celsius at the beginning, but for the rest of the test it does not exceed 68 degrees Celsius.
this third run has a score of 14,600... Ah, 14,267. If the temperature had not spiked to 73 degrees Celsius in the last run, we would have had a max temperature average of 68C, but this throws it off to 69.67. The average score is 14,236. I'd say the conclusion is that yes, a 120mm AIO is enough to cool an i9-11900K. Although I don't know if it's fair because I have 9 fans in my system. But compared to the 240mm AIO I had, had previously, it results in a hit of around 7 to 8 degrees Celsius. But hey, I might keep using it for now anyways. It's in there and it's not throttling the CPU and the idles are still in the low 30s. What do you guys think? <laughs>